come to you late in the process, but when the time coming, it's going to be sneaky, so it is what it is. Uh, trying to get y'all to see what was passed down to me so it can be passed down to y'all. Uh, whether it was passed down to my own family or through previous things or through my heritage, it's, it's a natural way of healing. It's cold, it's the flu. We all know that these things are going to happen, but if you implement this, I ain't saying that you have time or you can do it, but if you do it, then you be able to do it. Should you do it. And it's been on the pot for about two hours. That's jasmine rice, a little bit of salt, olive oil, nothing else. Excuse me. Steam. Now I drink that three times before I put it in there. Take the starch out. And I'm going to drain it once it's done. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drain it once it's done. But I'm, there's no meat in here. It's all bones, turkey bones, chicken bones, stuff that I saved. And that's going to basically, whatever seasoning you want to put it in, that's going to get to a broth that when you save it, and something like this, after you finish, then it's going to turn into gel. And you can use it on any day your kid's sick or whatever. I just want to show y'all. These are all bones that someone else would have thrown away. And you don't have to. Now when it comes to the rice. I like a certain kind of rice. So I would transfer this over. Turn it on hot. the rice like such, which you might not be able to think you can do, because some of the rice to be as absorbent as possible, as fast as possible, and I'm going to put this pot right back on this hot stove, I'm going to cut it off, I'm going to put some butter in there, like a half a stick, I mean like a quarter stick. While well, this is rinsing, getting all that extra stuff with hot water, though. You don't want the rice to cool down. Now, when that got seasoning on in it, put that butter in there. I noticed I turned the stove off, but it's still melting because the pot was hot. Put a little pepper in it, the butter got salt in it already. This is salted butter. You can use unsalted butter too. Let's put a little bit of that in there. Take that shrink rice. Put it back in the pot. And you stir the rice. Remember, I got the pot off. Let it sit. You can use noodles, whatever. I just like white rice as the original. see we got uh the bowls are draining it in but these are two bowls typical you know not typical but my daughter made a cake is going but use these and you basically take the rice because you want to do this before you put And it's basically up to you how much you put in there. I happen to love white rice. It's very healthy. It's, it's the ingredients that you have with all of your likings. Sushi got rice in it. 
It's just one of them things you can't mess with. So you put that. No season either. Believe it or not, they say you can't eat these. But I didn't cook these up because I don't want it to lose nothing. I actually put the juice in the can in there. And they say that you can't. You can eat these raw. Into a clear bowl. Now the same strainer that she was using that you use with your rice, you clean it out, you put it right on top like that. This is gonna be hot, so make sure you put an oven mitt or something on your hand or something to catch it. Strain that. Yeah. Sorry, can you see it? You know, your bones and stuff will still be there. You could discard them, pick the meat off them, but that's what you're looking for right there. That's what you're looking for right there. And these are refried beans. I got them cold, put them in the refrigerator before I was doing all that. And some people use tofu. Let me show you. I use refried beans because it's like... And if you do it the way I'm doing it, you might say, hey, it's uh, it's kind of cold, but once you put that piping hot broth in it, it actually will come together the way you want to. Some people say, well, why did you put beans in and not meat? Some people don't eat meat. Some people do. Some people have having trouble with eating meat. So that's the way. But why would I eat meat when I can eat what the cows eat? And get the protein directly from that, right? So that's what it look like. And remember, this is piping hot. This is I'm not waiting. See, so it's still steaming. You get your utensils, chew. You want to get fancy you take one of the bones that got more meat than normal put it across put it across and there you have it